Hello everyone, it is me Crystal and I'm here with yet another food review with my cousin. Hey guys, Tammy here. <clears throat> Tell them where we're at. We're at the Queen of Dairy, Dairy <laughs> Queen. The DQ, okay? And yes, I am wearing sunglasses. I burnt my retinas last night, yesterday. No. She didn't listen to the How you doing? I'm pretty good. Hey, give me one minute. Thank you. I'm getting that nutter butter shake. That's what I'm looking at. That looks delicious. Two nutter butter shakes. And what are you getting to eat? Oh Lord. You know what? I don't ever think I've had a burger here. I just always get the chicken strips. I'm gonna get a uh chicken strip basket, I think. Okay. <clears throat> All right, ready? Yep. All right, I'm ready. Could I please get a chicken strip basket? Four piece. Could I also get an original cheeseburger? And then could I get two Nutter Butter shakes? Mediums. Mediums. Yeah. And then, could I get an order of cheese curds? Mm -hmm. Regular. And a cheese curd. Uh, what was that? I'm sorry. Both, please. Yeah. And, and some uh, honey mustard. Did you say that already? And some honey mustards, please. Honey mustard. That'll do me. That'll do us. That'll do me. Thank you. Well, I don't want to overdo it because I'm I'm making uh, Salisbury steaks tonight for dinner. I love Salisbury steaks. You can buy that whole pack frozen mm -hmm. and get eight of them and feed a whole family. Yep, I'm doing a Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes. So that'll be over on my TikTok. Oh, you're putting it on your TikTok? How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. And if you hear a clicking noise, yes, that is my motor. Everybody's going to say, oh, you blew a ride. You shouldn't be driving around. Well, guess what? We do what we want. What else am I going to drive? Am I going to get my horse and buggy? You Thank right you. Bet your horse and buggy would never would have blown a ride. Huh, no. <sighs> I haven't eaten at Dairy Queen. I can't remember last time. Probably the last time we mukbanked in California. That was the last time I had a Dairy Queen. You know what they're saying is? Mm. Hot eats and cool treats. Mmm. What do you think about that? It makes sense because they really do have cool treats. They got the ice creams. I hate it when men rev up their motors. Thinking they're cool. That guy, let me just tell you the scene. Driving the smallest pickup truck and had the longest two by four on it. Sticking out. Get you a real truck. Get you an El Camino. Yeah, ooh, I've always thought El Caminos are so sexy. They really are. The, yeah. The, the convenience of a car and the convenience of a truck in one vehicle. In one. And if you got a, a guy driving it and he's got a mustache, it's over for you motherfuckers. I will be throbbing <clears throat> if I see that. Those sunglasses are really cool. Thank you. I got these at the gas stations. <clears throat> I don't ever wear them on mukbanks, but I did <clears throat> burn my retinas. Because we were watching the eclipse yesterday. And I looked up at it. And then I went, oh, my eyes. And I kept looking up at it. I go, oh. And everybody was saying, where are these? Everybody was wearing those. And they said, and I said, they go, Tammy, you're not supposed to look at the sun without the glasses. And I said, I thought you were supposed to look at the sun without glasses. I got confused. So I burnt my retinas. And nobody handed me those. Woohoo! Thank you. These are from NASA. That looks good. I've heard it's the best you can. Oh, you hadn't tried it yet? I know. I'm allergic to it. Oh, no. Everybody keeps saying it's the best one. Dang it. Well, hey, thank you. All right, there's our... Damn, we don't have no sodas to drink. <gasps> we didn't get no sodas. I'll be fine. 
I like washing it down, but I'll just use my nutter butter. All right. All right. Woo! What if the next car you have doesn't have a seat like that? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta be able to pull back. I have to. You want to divvy, or you want me to divvy? You, you, you go ahead and divvy. Hey, those are big honey mustards. They're huge. Look at how big that is. Look at her honey mustard. That is very large. I'm impressed with that. Yeah. I'm glad they don't skimp. Honey mustards. Oh, the, the amount of napkins is wonderful. <sighs> Thank God. She did not skimp. Here's your little baby. Ranch. Good Lord, it's bright. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think the sun is different today because it got eclipsed yesterday. Okay. The sun must have lost some of its power. Ooh. Here's my cheese curds, and you can have some of these. Smallest burger in history. A burger. Mmm. In my box. Or basket. Happy tastes good. Now, the chicken shrimp baskets used to come in actual baskets. They don't anymore. Even in the drive-thru? Yeah. They used to give you a little basket. They don't come that way anymore. All right, you want to try our nutter butter shake? Let's do it. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Damn. That is good. Mm. Tastes just like a nutter butter. Mm -hmm. And I love nutter butters. I like them because they're shaped like a little nut. Mm-hmm. And there's no other cookie that does that. Not one. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. You got the Keebler elves, but those are shaped like elves. Right. All right, show them your basket. My box. I'm just a man in a box. <laughs> Great band. What you got in there? What the hell is touching me? I got chicken strips. This one's shaped like a mermaid. It is. That's shaped like Texas. Yep. Shaped like a kayak. Yep. Let's see the last one. And shaped like your pussy lips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even the same texture. Right. That's wild. Mmm. These fries are good. That fries are hot and good. Mmm. Mmm. Cheese curds. Mmm. Mmm. Leave the toast at home. We don't want this. You don't want that? No, because they put margarine on it. You can see it. I'm going to eat it anyway, though. Mmm. We don't like margarine. Use real butter. A corporation like Dairy Queen that's making anywhere from one to five billion dollars a year, you can't buy a stick of butter. Right. <laughs> you gonna put country crock on a on a meal? No. It's a crock of shit, is what it is. Exactly. Don't use margarine. It don't taste good. Use real butter. We say this all the time. The Coke truck left its door open back there. And it's driving in Taco Bell even though Taco Bell is a Pepsi. Okay, you guys, there's a Coke truck that literally has the back open. Oh, his one Dollar General. Oh. It scared me because I thought Taco Bell's finally converting over to Coke. Must have been the Eclipse. She hardly don't want to go to Taco Bell because they don't have Coke products. Mm. Mm. 
These cheese curds are doing it for me. Can I taste one? Mm -hmm. I'm getting a rather big one. Mm. That's a good one. Should we do a question before I dig into my burger? Let's do it. Let's see here. <laughs> Let's see here. <coughs> There's something wrong with me. Why can't I find my honey mustard? They're right here. Right in front of you. That lady is giving that guy the what for. I know they're in there fighting. She's, She's pissed like about this. something. She's pissed about something. Tammy, Crystal, would you go to space? <laughs> Who's to say I already haven't been? I don't know. I told y'all I got probed. No. I don't know where they took me. But I have a hard time believing that they took me to Tallahassee. Why are you going to get probed and stay here on Earth? Mm -hmm. I didn't see my surroundings. Matter of fact, it all could have been a dream. I don't know. But who's to say... I haven't been. Now, would I love to go and be the first person to do an inter intergalactical mukbang? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I start making billions of dollars and I can go intergalactical, take my own rocket up there, guess who's mukbanging the first time in space? Both of us. Because I'll take you. You don't take me? Mm -hmm. that is wonderful. If they say, Jamie, you can only take one person, you're going with me. Well, I'll be ready. I'll get me a space hat and everything. Intergalactical mukbangs. Nobody's ever done that. What if we drive up to their McDonald's, but their McDonald's is totally different? They have like burgers, but they're made of like. A alien animals like a cow with big eyes that's green that's our job as muck makers to try their food we'd have to try it what if we don't like it though I'll be honest I'll say this tastes like horse shit I'm not going to sit there and say I like Mars's food when I don't what if they say if you don't like our food you can't leave the planet and they threaten you then I'll pretend I like it. Then I'll say, mm, I love... I love alien... Cheese curds. Cheese curds. I'll say it, you know? If it's going to get me back home, then I'll do it. Mm. I think the aliens would really like you. They're they like, like, they like strong leaders. Mm -hmm. They don't like people that are wishy-washy and this and that and everything. They like somebody who's going to say, stand up for your country, aliens. Which, Do the right thing. Which is why I think they've been probing me. Just saying. I really do think I'm being probed. At night? Either that or Daryl sticking his thumb up my ass at night. I don't know. I'm half asleep when it happens. I'm not fully awake, so it's hard to know what's going on. But I'm getting probed by somebody. Somebody or something. Right. Mm, mm, okay. Mmm. Crystal, Tammy, would you ever do a private monk bank party? Mm. What do you think? I think we kind of did one on the cruise. Yeah. You want to take a thumbnail? Yeah. Before I eat my burger. Got it. Mm. Tammy's pontoon party, we did 
a mukbang. Mustard ketchup pickles. That's what's on here. So, yeah, we technically did do a private mukbang on Tammy's pontoon party. Mm. I wonder if they mean something like sexual, like an orgy or something. Mm. Where we go there and we eat in front of them and then they get all turned on and then everyone ends up making love. I'd be open for that too. That'd be cool as hell. How's the honey mustards? It's good. You want to taste it? It is really good. I'm picky on my honey mustards. I don't like them too sweet. I usually like them with a little bit of tang, like a little bit of horseradish in there. Mm -mm. No? Not me. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good honey mustards. I don't like it when it has too much of that yellow uh, nuggets. That's the mustard seeds. That's right. my favorite part. I like the honey part, I guess. Man. Mm. I should have got a chicken strip basket. Got on through. Shit. The burger's good. But sometimes you just need a basket. I need to eat eat about... I should have got eight of them because I could have shared them with you. Mmm. That's okay. I'm making my Salisbury steaks tonight. I always thought there was called Salisbury. Is it called Salisbury? I always thought. Because that's how it's spelled. Oh. I'm going to be honest with you. I've always called it Salisbury. <laughs> I think it's a street in England. Mm. Is what I think. Mm. Man, these cheese curds are hitting. Damn. Okay. Oh, I wish I had a soda. Yeah, we fucked up on that. On that. Mmm. Oh my God, so many good questions. Damn, okay. <clears throat> Tammy, Crystal, best remedy for chub rub, inner thighs. Best remedy. <clears throat> lard. She always just told me lard growing up. I'd be like, Crystal, my leg, my legs hurt. Cause you know, I had, I was getting chub rub, but as soon as I started walking, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, Crystal, my legs hurt my legs. She said, go get go get some of the... That she'd have a jar of bacon grease in the kitchen that we used for frying and stuff. And she'd have to put a little bit of that on there. She'd also get the drippings from when we when we cook the meat stuff. She'd... What's it called? The ground beef. You'd fix that. You'd keep that in a jar. Mm -hmm. So I'd just find a jar with fat in there and I'd just rub it on there. Dogs love it, too. They'll lick on it. You always told me that. A little bit of bacon grease. Take your finger, dip it in, rub it on there. It makes your thighs glide. Then they glide smooth. <clears throat> Recommend it for runners and hikers too. Mm -hmm. You know, because runners and hikers will they'll often have to put uh something on their nipples because when they're running it's doing that, just put a little bit of lard on there. That's it. Um, sometimes people call me a lard ass, and I'll say, that's a compliment. Because it is. And fat, big asses are in. People are getting surgeries to look like her. Mm -hmm. They're risking their lives going to foreign countries to get BBLs. An ass half the size of hers. People go into the doc's office and show them a picture of her ass. Now, I did not get that ass in the family. It skipped me. Mm -hmm. Sadly. Really it skipped sad. me. Really sad. I did not get that ass. My grandma. Little ass. My mom and Crystal. Big ass. Me. Little flat ass. But you got big tits. Uh, yeah, I got big tits. And a big pussy, so. Yeah. Can't. It evened out. 
I'm, 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 you want one piece of that? Mm -mm. Oh, you sure? Not a little piece of it. A little end piece. Let me dip it in the honey mustards. You want a fresh one? No. That's perfect. Look at there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I wish I had a soda. Damn. We fucked up. Mm. Why weren't we thinking about that? Wow. Mm, mm. Oh. Where's my phone? For questions. Oh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> you freaked out. All right. Everybody ready? I thought the Lord took it. Mmm. Crystal, Tammy, what would you do if you had a twin? Oh, wow. Never work again, I tell you that, Mike. Yeah. I'd get a job. If I didn't want to go, I'd just be like, hey, go to work. What would your twin's name be? Sammy. Sammy? Tammy and Sammy. I would really get that confused. I'd say, Sammy, come here. And then, and then I'd come running. You'd come running. I'm like, what? You said, I said Sammy. Well, I thought you said Tammy. What would your twin's name be? Hmm. That's a good one. Rose. Okay. Rose and Crystal. Rose and Crystal. That's pretty. Crystal Rose. Mm-hmm. Or Misty. I always liked that name. I always thought it'd be cool. To have a twin. Especially identical. I'd love to fuck with people. Mm -hmm. I would. I'd be doing all those TikTok pranks where people, you know how like they talk to somebody, they have a hidden camera set up and they'll talk to somebody and then they'll leave and then two seconds later the twin will come up and say something else and the people are freaked out. That's what I'd do. A lot of pranks. So yeah. I love pranks. I always have been a pranker, but I don't post enough online pranks, and I need to start doing that. That's because people will say stuff like, well, "How do you? Why are you filming those innocent bystanders, and why are you tricking them, and all this?" It's called pranking for a reason. For views and for a prank. Would you ever have a threesome with your twin? Because it's your sibling, but it's right. also technically you. Right. I think if it was a clone, I'd have a threesome, but not with my twin. Yes. If it was a clone, it'd be me. A twin is you, but a little different. You know what I mean? A, a twin is you and your sibling. I'm going to say I agree with you. No on the twin, yes on the clone. I would fuck my clone. <laughs> Matter of fact, that sounds wonderful. To fuck yourself? To look in your own eyes and make love? Because I don't know what that's like for people. People say it's the best pussy they've ever had. People say I'm the best kiss they've ever had. People say I have the best tits they've ever sucked on. But I don't know because I've never experienced that. What if you fall in love with your own clone? I guess we're getting married. <laughs> you can't help who you fall in love with. You're right. You really can't. You know what I mean? And then the government will get a, a wind of it and start banning clone marriage. Mm -hmm. You can't marry your own clone. You don't say that in the Bible. It says Adam and Eve, not Tammy and Tammy. Right. Right. You're right. They would do that. They would ban clone marriage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Out of control. Didn't you have to go to certain states to get clone married? And I would marry my clone if I fell in love with her. How could you not? It's you. Imagine I start to go down on her and her pussy stinks. 
but it's my pussy that stinks. You know, and you can't be mad at her and say, hey, your pussy stinks, because my pussy stinks. Confusing. So, you, so you, it's very confusing. Very confusing, but very interesting how that works. I wonder when you're touching your clone if you could feel it. That's a good question. I got a lot of clone questions. Yeah. Y'all, if you have been cloned or have a clone, please comment below and just tell us some information on clones. Yeah, I don't know a lot about the physics of it. Yeah. <laughs> We'd love to know. <clears throat> Crystal, Tammy, what would be a bucket list check off on your next Tammy and the Gang pontoon cruise? Mm. <sighs> I, I, I don't even. There's so many things. I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> Obviously, we're going to try to make the next pontoon party that's in 2026. We're going to try to make it bigger and better. But truthfully, if we kept it the exact same it was this year, that'd be fucking awesome. But longer. Right. One but, day longer. But add an extra day. It would be just as fun, just as amazing. I don't know what else we could add to make it better. What if they had like a kissing booth, but instead of a kissing booth, it was you laid on a table with your legs spread and people come and kiss your pussy? Just go. They would love that. And they pay three dollars a kiss, and all the pre proceeds go to making a clone, I guess. Yeah, that'd be a good or idea. A good, a good clone. That is a good clone, but maybe like that'd be a good idea. Something like that. But if they went really fast, they could probably get me off in about a hundred people. If they just went. I could probably bust a nut. Mm. Maybe even 50 people. If they did it fast enough? They'd have to make a rule up because people are going to say, I want to take a selfie with you. Do that at the selfie center. Mm. This is strictly for kissing her pussy. This ain't... Kiss and go. Kiss and go. Kiss and go. Take a selfie at the selfie center. This is for kissing my pussy. I'm really going to think about how we're going to be able to do this for 2026. And I'll set up the booth next to it, and I'll have a little little ticket stand where I give each person a ticket and get everybody in line and say, all right, get, get your lips ready because you're next up in line. Right. We're always thinking about new ways and how to make things better, so please comment below what you want to see on ta next Tammy's Pontoon Party, 2026, spring. Okay, comment below what you want to see. Is it going to be the same boat? I don't know. I think so. I hope if it is, I'll I'll help people because I know every way around that place. I'll oh, help you. I know that I know that boat like the back of my hand. I do. Now before we went on there, I had no clue. I'd never been on a cruise. Now that I'm now that I'm a world traveler, boat wise, I know where everything's at. So if you need help and you see me scooting by, stop and say, Tammy, where's the uh this? And I'll point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And I will. And you might be thinking, well, you just filmed your first comedy special on there. How do you know where everything is? Because she was working nonstop. She didn't sleep. She slept when she got home. Right. They kept saying, Tammy, go take a break. Go take a break. I said, I'm not here to take a break. I'm here to meet people. I'm here to hang out with people. And I'm here to find Daryl and make sure he's not making an ass out of me. Which he was. <laughs> he was. If y'all were, were on the pontoon party and you saw Daryl. <sighs> he was wilding out, as they say. Some Someone uh, sent me a video uh, <laughs> yesterday. Did you see it? No. Of one of the little mini kisses eating some girl's pussy in the in the uh, hot tub. I mean, I heard that happen, but I hadn't seen a video of it. And there was a video, and he was just... Lord, did he have his makeup on still? I couldn't even see his face. <laughs> Don't know. He was he was balls deep in some pussy. <laughs> that mini kiss pan was wild. Yeah. 
They're wilder than the real kiss. And they thought I was going to be wild on that cruise? <sighs> Guess what? I want nothing. Many kiss against the award for wilding out. Exactly. Should we do another question? Yeah, let's do one more. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh, this is a good one. Ooh, okay. <coughs> Tammy, Crystal, what's your favorite role play? What do you like being called in the bedroom? <laughs> I'm going to let you take over this one. You sure you don't want to start? Role play queen right here. My latest role play that I love is playing farmer and, and little piggy. And she's not kidding. I've heard it. <laughs> because if you look at a little cute little pig, and I'm not being a pig because I'm fat. I'm being a pig because pigs are cute. Have yeah. you ever seen a little pink pig? Oh, they're adorable. And the farmer, he's got a whole bunch of little piggies on the farm, but he has one special little piggy. <laughs> That's me, Crystal Piggy. And the farmer comes and gets a little piggy at night and <clears throat> takes care of her and um Fucks her? When <laughs> Is that what you mean? <laughs> takes care of her. Yes, and um when she's not with the farmer she's using her little hooves, you know, scrolling on her phone or fixing her hair or whatever, but and I, this ain't, I don't like fucking farm animals, y'all. I'm no, not no. endorsing this fucking This is make, make pretend. This is pretend. I'm not really a pig. I'm not on really on a farm. Right. This is pretending. This is spicing you're, up the bedroom. You're in your house. Now, I have role played, as everybody knows, riverboat captain and, and passenger. I have done minor, where I'm a minor in a in a coal mine and I'm you know I'm working on and I'm down there hitting and then all of a sudden another miner comes up behind me and says I like how you hammer on that coal I told y'all she gets into it she gets there for an hour and tell you about this shit every profession there is out there I've done she's it. done it and I'm not really a role player I like to role play someone that's coming You know, I like to role play someone having an orgasm. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to role play. Make me come. Because that's all that matters to me. Mm -hmm. I don't care to be nobody else. I want to be me having an orgasm. That's, that, I mean, there ain't nothing better. That's the whole point of doing that. You know what I mean? I think I just like doing it because I was always into theater. Yeah. You were, and you never got to be a big a theater actress like you wanted to be. So this is your way of doing that. Mm -hmm. So you want to play a, a seafaring merchant? Guess what? Role play. You want to play a Playboy bunny? Role play. You want to be somebody that works um, in a mechanic store? Easy. Role play. Done. And you don't have to have all the tools. You don't have to have a a mechanic store. You pretend your home is a is a mechanic store. You look over there and say, "Oh, look over there. That's a the hydraulic lift where the car goes on." Well, when you're looking over there, it's not really over there. You're pretending. It's all about make believe. Honestly, that's what it's about, and it's about having fun. Okay, Crystal, I'm out of food. I'm out of food. And I know you're thirsty. I'm so thirsty, I want to drive through every one of these places and get a large drink. We'll get you a soda pop. We'll stop and get you a soda pop. Thank you. Okay? Everyone, thank you for watching our Muck May and Crystal's food reviews. Thank you for following my cousin Crystal and subscribing to her channel. Thank you. Now, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, don't watch the next one without being subscribed. Click your finger and push the subscribe button right now. Don't be watching her videos, raw dogging them. Be a part of the group. Okay? Crystal, I can't stand when people don't subscribe and they watch your shit. Why do they do that? 
How do they even know you have a new video up? I don't know. It's mind blowing. But I'm tired of it. That's almost like somebody being a freeloader. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. So if you don't want to be a freeloader, push subscribe right now. Push it. We love you. Well, you can do the outro. She's we good at it. She's gotten so good at muck banking. So good. Thanks for joining us today, everyone, here on Crystal's Food Reviews and Other Things. And remember, be blessed beyond your comprehension. Amen. Bye-bye. Hold on. Bye.